in Cardinals Club Championship. Let's do this. Ooh, ooh, big hit on the sideline. Set the tone early. Coaches Tom. love that. Championship game here between these two. Let's see what we can expect. These guys are right now going into their playbooks. They're kind of like they're subbing out their audibles. So you have all your quick audibles that you can access once you're at the line of scrimmage. Uh, something that was added to the game last year, you can change those plays around so you're not stuck with the default ones that sure. the game has selected. It's actually a real, it's a, it's a little bit of an underground feature. A lot of people don't maybe necessarily use it, but what you'll see is he's going to take a uh, delay a game here, and I bet his opponent's going to decline it because we've got a little uh, agreement as Madden folks that you let me set my stuff up, I'll let you set your stuff up, and... And that speaks, for, that speaks volumes to the, the sportsmanship of this. You know, not, not everybody will allow that to happen. And for guys to have that kind of un, un, uh, unsaid uh, rule, that's pretty cool. Good stuff here uh, at the Madden Championship Series. Great players, a brotherhood, and we're back here. We're playing, and we've got a good one with K-Mac and T. Davis. Starting off with a safe one. Again, this is going to be just like a boxing match. We're going to feel our way out in the first quarter, uh, see what your opponent's going to allow you to do, and then kind of go from there. And if you missed the first game, you're just tuning in. The way K-Mac had his defenders, uh, his edge rushers, uh, Shaquem Griffin and then Jacobs, two relative, uh, you know, budget guys, they had seven sacks plus in that opening game, so Ooh. he's not going to fall for that. Stuffed. Stuffed that lead draw right there. When it comes to the tendencies, when you start to motion those guys in, Sometimes you can key in on how far these guys are motioning in. If they're motioning at the edge of the line, maybe it's a pass. If he comes past that, uh, uh, past that tackle, you're looking at probably a run. Ah, good call. You're picking this thing up, man. I'm telling you what, you're going to be pretty good by the end of today. I don't want to. I don't want to play on. you after this. This thing here. Switches over to the bunch right. Third and nine. There it is, Vic's dropping back. He's looking across the middle. The user's there, follows the route, and Jacobs is he's having been, himself a day. He's been a tear all day. And what, one thing that I've just noticed right here, we saw the crosser that was open all last game. I saw somebody peel off and take away that crosser. So that's some good That's some good scouting that the, that was done. Yeah, I bet K-Mac was in the back checking this thing out. He's got Twitch on his phone. He's pretty active in some of the communities out there. Good um, punt. Oh, good punt. <laughs> Nice move. Looked like there was a little bit of a lane over there to the right, but nonetheless, good positive yards. Little spin move here as K-Mac takes over after the punt. It's very rare in a Madden game that you see those punts. We've got some NFL players rolling in right now. That guy's like 6'5". Oh, that's a large man. Yeah. I am very glad that I'm sitting over in this seat now as opposed to getting ready to play him. Yeah. No the, regrets at all. They're wearing the same headphones as the players. <laughs> they got the bows on, so that's, that's a nice look, man. I like that, so... K-Mac here has got the noise cancelers on. He's locked in, focused. He's trying to... He's got his music in and the noise cancel, so he's definitely in his zone right now. Yeah, it's a good move. It's a good, otherwise, you're listening to the white noise. <laughs> and uh, There's only one player in Beast Mode Mac who uh, is a player who actually listens to the white noise. Really? It works for him. Yeah, it works. I'll say, Beast Mode, more power to you, More man. power to you. Works for you. Works for you. Works for you. So you see the run just get stuffed there. Both of these guys are trying to feel out each other. Second and 11. Drew Brees is in the shotgun, and then he has uh, Coleman to his right. Had a couple touchdowns in the first game. All speed lineup pretty much from K-Mac with uh, John Ross, as you see there. Will Fuller was out there, Dorsett, and then I believe uh, Tyreek, or uh, excuse me, T.Y. Hilton, who actually uses, and it's not a very common item. Uh, that you see, so it's pretty good to see T.Y. Hilton out there. The man is with third and eight right here. Breeze dropping by. Nobody's open right now. Come up and make nice. the tackle. Oh, nice. So a Patience. really interesting game of Madden right there, right? The drag was open. It was covered at first. He drifted off. He then threw it late. And it, as the flat defender is going to be there, he spun back to the inside. So that's like three or four levels deep of what you're seeing. Like, yeah, you see it. It's like, all oh, these guys stink. They just throw to the flat over and over. But it's like when you actually consider all the activity on that play it's, it's remarkable it's really deep it's remarkable and you can tell that these guys practice a lot and practice makes perfect right there that was a uh, excellent move and second and three right here and went to the flat just again on the quick out route prior to good safe throws to the flat it's pretty interesting that he's got all that speed with John Ross and Fuller and he's throwing just flat passes for what, three four you know yards what? 
part of that could be strategy. When you have that much speed going down the field and you got a defense worried about getting beat deep, you get the flats yeah. neglected. So he's taking what the defense is giving him right now. And in his first game, we saw him hit that seam throw to Fuller for a, a massive gain. There was the fumble on the play, but it was uh, saving and saving and saving. And right now, he's five for five with Drew Brees. Five for five, nickel and dime, but it's also going to set up. Uh, you know, your flat wheels, and you're going to set up those hooks and those digs right behind it right now as T. Davis gets a little bit uh, tired of, of having to tackle in the flat. Quite an environment here at the stadium, State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. It's starting to get packed. Phil in here. You got the oh, names. Oh, no. Pick. This might be a pick six. Oh, he could go. This might be a pick six. Oh. A good, good saving play by Coleman right there, but here's the first big mistake of the game. B. Doc, what a play from him. Let's go back here and check this thing out. Monster play. Undercuts that. He looks wide open, but that's just a short throw. Yeah, you can't get the ball quite over the head of him, and then he's able to bring it back across midfield. Dawkins, two tackles and an interception early in this game. So both players not able to score on their opening drive as Fournette takes the toss, mm. cuts back in, but K-Max there, he stuffed that, said, not on me, not today. That's, that's, that's not what you want to do on a toss sweep. That's just, that play is designed to go outside, so when you start to cut back in, you're cutting back in right to the flow of the defense, and you saw what happened right there. Sound like my man Clint Oldenburg, who's actually an NFL lineman, he works on the game. I say, Clint, I can't run the ball. He says, because you don't go to the right lane. Because <laughs> you take the inside zone outside and you run tosses back inside. I'm like, Clint, I don't want logic. I don't want reason. I just want to be able to run for 200 yards a game, please. Thank you very much. We got a bunch left right here. Got motion over. It's Tennessee, guys. There it is. Oh, wow. What a play by Fournette. What a spin from Leonard Fournette. And T. Davis strikes first here in the Madden 19 Cardinals Championship, the final. Thought he had a truck lined up, and he said, nope, thank you, I'm gonna spin. Interception leads to points, and if you look again at the motion, you saw that motion guy come past the tackle. So far today, that's been a good indicator of, of it being an inside run. And it busted open, wide open for Lynn Fournette right there. And you get him out in the open, he's very hard to tackle. And a nice little kick here from T. Davis, forces Devlin to jump on it and then rolls out of bounds at the 25. So we could have had a touchback, but that's way more interesting than a sure. touchback. It's the same same, uh, same thing here, but those guys will try anything here. Now the question is, how is Kate Mack going to respond? Is he going to panic, or is he just going to stick with his game plan? It's just seven points. Still got plenty of time. Don't need to force anything. Breeze with plenty of time in the pocket right now. No Very good. Oh, uh, my goodness. Pocket presence. May he would make Dubby proud. Dubby's uh, one of our players known for tremendous pocket presence, loves to, to show it off. And K-Max working in the pocket, really nice. You see T. Davis making tons of adjustments there on that controller. That's one of those, a uh, little bit different than just a regular standard controller that K-Max uses. So we'll have to interview T. Davis to find out what's up with that paddle. Got your crosser. Good smart safe throw, but not a big pickup right there. So for uh, if you T. Davis, I'll take that all day long. Yeah, and that's Milton who, on the tackle who made that monster play for T. Davis. So you expect John Ross to be able to outrun that Milton, but hey, if you're letting them catch that and tackling them right away, you feel okay about giving up those passes. Now you have him in an unfavorable third and 11 right now. Uh, K-Mac can't panic. He's got to take what, he, what they give him. Don't get a sack. Cannot give up a sack. No, and just nothing's and you, open. You hear the emotion coming from T. Davis right now, and you can feel some of the momentum starting to go into uh, onto his side right now. How K-Mac responds is going to be very key right now. Yeah, the end of the first quarter, T. Davis with a 7-0 lead, and he's going to get the ball back here on fourth down. Will K-Mac decide to go for it, or will he punt? We will find out here on the first play. Looks like it is indeed going to be a punt. Uh, K Max stoic right now in this moment. He's not. He. I, we expected him to be more animated than T Davis, but T Davis is actually showing the emotion. Does that surprise you? What you think about what happened to T Davis last time he played K Max? So right now this is a redemption game. So the emotions are at an all time high right now. He's playing with some confidence. The one thing that he has to do though is he has to remain calm, stick with your game plan, don't try to do too much. Let it. Let the game continue to come to you as you've done so far. You know he prepared for this game after being defeated by K-Mac in the group stage here. Oh, he's still to the, able to advance. To the pistol look. Haven't seen that. Now Vic goes under center. Looking like a run formation right here. Maybe trying to establish the run. Could it be that toss? Let's see as more doesn't, comes across the formation. Doesn't need to do the toss. He's outflanked right now. 
That's what I was just saying. You, you don't need to go it, to the toss. He's outflanked right now as, as far as defenders are concerned. That's, that's something that you have to see and recognize. He was ready to go, man. Ready to go is K-Mac. He's got the edge locked down. He is not allowed a positive passing yard. I think T. Davis right now has negative six passing yards, but those 33 rush yards, uh, along with the turnovers, have been what's gotten T. Davis into uh, this favorable game situation here as he's got a second and 14 in the start of the second quarter. So he's going to look to attack the flats right now. You see this corner playing far off. Had him out flanked, had him right away. Don't take a sack. He's playing very smart with Michael Vick. This is what Michael Vick is good at. Okay, when the play breaks down and nobody's covered, he's able to get out onto the perimeter and make you pay that way. This is something that wasn't uh, being utilized earlier on today in, in our tournament. Yeah, that's the difference between Vick and McNabb. So he just got 20. And McNabb will get you 10, 12. Exactly. But that extra little gear to get in that gap there can be a big time game changer for Vick. You, you miss a couple throws at the same at the same level, but. Some, it's just too much for, to pass up for some of the for, for Madden players that can really utilize Vic well. Right. Stays true. I'm telling you right now, guys, if, if you're a player on defense right now and you see that motion come past the tackle, it's almost been 100% today that they're running the ball. Yeah, we got a couple graduates here. Uh, K Mac graduated in May from ASU, Arizona State, just up the road in Tempe. And then T. Davis, currently in his last semester. Uh, one year to go here at uh, back in Massachusetts, where he is from in Boston, getting that business degree. To figure out hopefully some wise ways to invest that cash that he's going to be earning. He's already earned cash, but he's trying to earn a little bit more. Hey, you can never have too much cash. You can never have too much cash, and right now the way that he's playing, uh, he's got a good opportunity to earn some more. Yeah. I mean, worst case scenario, you buried in the desert. We're already in the <laughs> desert. Like you know, who knows? Get some bitcoins. It's all good. Got a big third and 13 right now. Got to be smart. No turnover. Let's see if he's got time for the post. Oh, takes a sack. Right now you have no choice but to go ahead and punt this ball and try to pin him in. Now we've got a chess match, and Vea comes in. Uh, one of the more popular items. He's made a couple plays this event for K-Mac. T. Davis will punt on fourth and 18. So look at directional punting right here, which is smart. Ever want to punt it down the middle because you give the returner a two-way go. We're trying to pin him into a certain spot. It's a very good place punt. Oh, wow. Perfectly placed punt. That's the coffin corner. That yeah. is a nice, nice punt from T. Davis. Uh, he probably doesn't punt all that often, but clearly still something he's practiced to master. And that is something you, you, know, you learn early, and it never really goes away. T. Davis been doing it uh, for years. Madden 10, Madden 11, Madden 12. Uh, considered himself one of the best, and I think the community does as well. In Madden 13 and Madden 25, a couple years ago, uh, definitely one of the better players, had more time. Uh, there just wasn't the tournaments out there for him to, to really shine above ground and in, in, in a positive way. So with EA bringing back the championship series, uh, this has given him that opportunity. Uh, battling through some, some health issues, which you talked about earlier, but he's, oh, he's feeling he get a safety good. Here? That was mighty close. Yeah. Very close to a safety right there. That's Apke back in the backfield here uh, between the two players. Be now it's a second and 12. Look at him shoot through here. Good call on this one. Yeah, absolutely. That was nearly a safety. That was a great defensive play. Just got it out of the end zone. That Apke will be everywhere. Uh, does he bring up. pressure right here? Does he bring pressure? Got a looper coming. Oh, Good wow. pickup by the back. Did you see that pickup yeah. by the back? Excellent pickup. Yeah, that stepped up. Edge was contained, that rush that he's uh, been been really working well today, but that was an extra little wrinkle up the middle. Yeah. And like you said, good job by the back, and good job by him staying kind of tough, Absolutely. you know what I mean, and, uh, and not not panicking. Now we've got a big third and nine here. K-Max got the ball, trails T. Davis by seven in the finals of this Cardinals Club Championship. Big Freeze. stop right here, we got the safeties creeping up. Watch your flat, watch your flat, come up and tackle. Excellent play. And we'll find out here with T. Davis taking the timeout on fourth and five. K-Mac's going to go. This is a gutsy call right here. This could, this, could, this could really swing the game right here if he doesn't uh, connect with this play. But in order for him to go for it, he's got to have a good idea of the play that he wants. Um, this is a gutsy call. We got back some yards to make it a manageable situation here. We're looking at the flat, so we're looking at some form of a shallow drag is my guess. Breeze. Patient. Good protection. Good protection. Goes. Oh, my goodness. 
deep and oh. Fuller drops the ball. You gotta be kidding me. Unfortunate play, tried to throw it in traffic, but Will Fuller takes the hit and can't hang on to the football. And now T. Davis takes over. This is, this Look is, at this. It looks like this is an easy clear cut catch, but that ball's jarred out by the hit. Yeah, it looks and like that, Rondé that, Barber got in there and uh, he's known to knock some, knock it loose. So right now, if I'm if I'm uh, T. Davis right now, I'm taking my time. I'm gonna milk some of this clock, but I'm gonna make sure I get some points out of this. Yeah, you were handed three points. Do you wanna oh. make it seven? And Leonard Fournette says, feed me the ball. I want my second Ow. touchdown of the day. T. Davis said that he was prepared for this. He said that he had studied and learned from uh, the loss last year. And, and right now, even with the, uh, a subpar passing game so far, he's clearly in control of his game. Yeah, there's a calmness to the offense when you can run the ball with the level of success that he's having. Uh, there's just not as many studs on K-Mac's defensive line, um, and that's been the, the difference here with Fournette getting some room to roll and then some big, big uh, moves. We've got a soft edge here with two tight ends right now. He needs to run this ball to the left right behind those two tight ends. He goes for the sneak again. He likes the sneak. He loves the sneak. He likes the sneak. He might know something we don't know. He that knows could something be, we don't know. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, you need to run behind those two big tight ends that they got. The tight end in the wing. Definitely was open. Soft edge. Yep. It was definitely open. Same thing. Look at this right here on this left side. You've got three guys for one. Will it be a Vic sneak? Will he go left? We're about to find out here on third and goal. T. Davis trying to take a two-score lead. Vic in the backfield with Leonard Fournette. Odell Beckham at tight end. The short edge is on both sides. He's got to hand this ball off. Right now, they've got three or four defensive linemen up the middle, so there's not going to be a lot of push. But both of the edges are wide open. you got a lead blocker and a tight end. I'm not exactly sure why uh, he wouldn't go for that. K-Mac was ready for the sneak. May have seen it last game. And T. Davis can only get three after taking over at that eight-yard line. That's, that's got to be frustrating. That's actually a win for, for K-Mac right there to only give up three points in that, that predicament because right now just one score changes this game completely. Yeah, with K-Mac being local, uh, he's got some, some fans in the building. His boys just showed up. Uh, Shout-out to the K-Mac squads stopping on down from Arizona State. Some lax guys in the house ready to represent K-Mac who hopefully – We'll uh, treat him, treat him uh, nice tonight at the game if, they, uh, if he takes this thing down. I, I think, he, uh, think he should be much obliged to do so. Yes. 10-0, <laughs> K-Mac takes back over on offense. Hasn't had uh, the success so far, but looking to get it going. Oh, got the scissors. Freeze. Have the toes. There Those are is. late scissors, but it's late. And he's wanted that route a couple times. It's just unfortunate that he's not able to get the, the, the feed in there with a good throw from Breeze. You have to look at timing, especially on that scissors route. If you're on the, that left hash, you don't have a whole lot of room on the left side of the field. That's more of a middle of the field play or wide side of the field play. Breeze. Take your crosser, take your crosser right now. Excellent. Oh, T.Y. is going to break one and get upfield to midfield. Minute 20 to go. He's got no timeouts, but that's plenty of time. Absolutely, plenty of time. When you see those vertical routes go and you see those safeties carry, your underneath routes are open almost every time. Good work here. He's using this spread set really nicely. It's not something you see every day, so to see him uh, run something different and have success, it just shows the people out there uh, what's happening. It's a surprise. Three, Coleman's got three carries for negative two yards. The run game just hasn't been there for him yet. Uh, compared to TD, he's, he's had some success running the ball. Breeze making his adjustments here with 50 seconds to go in the half. Oh. Pressure. Burst pipes. Cannot take a sack in that situation. That looks like that might be LT. That is LT, and he's swagging after that. They did a little <laughs> Conor McGregor walk after Absolute that sack. That's kind of nice. LT is uh, definitely not a, a gentleman I'd like to, to tango with. Yeah, Belichick was saying this week. Yeah. He was like, they asked him about Khalil Mack and if he was one of the best of all time, and he's like, yeah, he's really good. He's like, but this is LT. Yeah. This is Lawrence Taylor. Come, yeah. on. Come on. And he's usually not that animated, but. Uh, That's when you know it's something serious. When Bill, you can get a reaction from oh. Bill. Oh, a pick right here. Wow. It's like Bill Belichick had that Ed Reed. He had, a, like, loved Ed Reed. Yeah. Like, that's how you know you are an amazing football player. Uh, on the squad there is T. Davis grabs an interception right here. Look at this replay. Breeze tries to go and Undercuts Dawkins it. Undercuts it. gets his second one of the game as Hilton can't really get that separation he's needed to here. 10-0 just before the half. 
I think you stay smart right here. Let's just run the football, get to halftime. You got a 10 to nothing lead. No need to do something silly. Yeah, the spy is right up the middle. Shaquem Griffin there is rushing off the edge, and he has been huge. T. Davis going to let this one tick down. Even with one timeout, he's more than happy to go to the half. And that is the end of the first half there. T. Davis going to let it run out with the 10-0 lead over k Mac here at the Cardinals Club Championship. Ben Patrick right here alongside Z. Farles and T. Davis told us before the game that he had prepared and was ready and had labbed the game. Clearly it's worked out. What's been the difference? Uh, it, it's clear he's done his homework. Uh, this is a definitely a different ball game from the one that he lost against k Mac last year. Um, he's controlled the game with, with running the ball, but the two turnovers have been crucial. Um, he, fortunate for fortunate for K-Mac, though, he's only down by 10 points. Yeah. Based off of what's happened so far, only down by 10 points is not bad. It's not in, insurmountable, so I think he'll be fine. But right now, the, the, the momentum is definitely in T. Davis's corner. These guys are jumping back into the game as we have a whole squad walking past right now as they head to the locker room for what will be Thursday night football between the Cardinals and the Broncos. I'm hoping to see Von Miller walk by. There's Von right There's there. Von Miller wearing a very fancy hat. You can tell by the really dress nice Vaughn. shoes. Yep. And a nice suit. He's a sharp man. We've got the big crosser right here. Philip Dorsett, I believe. I think that's Pico. He's got the Supreme uh, Absolutely. Supreme luggage. Yep. It's, it's pretty fancy. Pretty fancy. Maybe Chris Harris. All right. Well, this thing's popping off. Yeah. These guys, very nice. These guys are ready to roll. Third and two here. K Mac on offense after the half. Got to get something going after the drive. Get some points on the board. Make this a one score game for. K Mac. Breeze looking, staying tough in the pocket, fighting, and he is going deep down the sideline. Oh. And John Ross just dropped this the is what, ball. This, this is what has killed him all day. He's had three critical drops in, in situations. I, I, I can only imagine how the frustration is mounting right now. You can't this, believe it. That's out of his control. Those balls are right on the money, and these guys are just not making plays. I mean, look, yeah. Let's look at this replay. Wow, and Rondé Barber went up for the pick. Missed. It was going to miss the play. It was going to overrun the play. That might have been a touchdown. That was a touchdown. That was a touchdown. Very unfortunate for K-Mac. Fourth, and, fourth two. and two. Crosser, he's looking for the crosser. Patience. Nobody's open. E. What a play. Finally, Fuck. somebody holds on to it. If you're watching at home, the composure of K-Mac uh, after a pretty much a drop touchdown to come back on fourth and two with the game on the line, hang tough, user, user, user. He playmakered that route back up the field, threw it, clicked on, made the play, and counted on his team to catch that football is just why he is here today in this final. Shout out to K-Mac for fighting this, taking on his opponent. Oh, big play. You ran out of real estate. And the problem with that, that route is open, but we're just waiting just a little bit too long to throw it, and you're running out of real estate. So he's got to make that adjustment on those corner routes. That happened on the scissors earlier on as well. He's also passed 17 times and only ran three. And even though he only trails a little bit, do you feel like he should? I mean, it hasn't been successful when he has ran, but, you know, kind of going away from it. Yeah, I feel like you have to incorporate the run game some because that'll help op open up your play action as well. But uh, right now he seems to be pass heavy. Kyle McAllister dropping back on second and 10. Nobody's open right now, no pressure. The Arizona State graduate cannot find anybody. He just, he chops just it out of bounds. Won $2,500 last year, lost in the finals to Volt. Took a big lead in that one. Here he's fighting from the back, so that's all kind of off the table. He, he, he fought that demon in his first game where he had the lead. This one, though, is going to be uh, take a comeback effort. Likes to pass the ball. I just believe with right now, just the composure of T. Davis right now. I just, I feel like he's in total control of his game right now, and he doesn't really feel threatened uh, by K-Mac right now. That just seems to be the vibe for him. When you have that that preparation, that level of T. Davis, those the group of guys that he plays with, you feel you feel comfortable. You you got to execute. You're not, you know, you're playing a high level chess match rather than like trying to figure out what they're gonna do. Absolutely. Had X, throws to the corner. and we've, just talked, we've talked about this all day. It's just a hair late for running out of real estate. And surprisingly, this time he threw from the opposite hash and was still late on it. 
And right now you see the frustration uh, on his face right now. He just doesn't have any answers right now. Yeah, it's, it's frustrating when, when something you've practiced relied on is not, not working for you. You're not sure if it's a knee, is it the game, is it the stage, is it, you know, what is it? He wants that animation, he wants the, the toe drag. Um, just not getting it, he's, he's going to it, but like you said, he's a little bit late on that throw. Big fourth and 10 right here. Breeze drops back, he's got looking for the crosser, that's taken away. He's in deep trouble right now. He's got a he's got great wide throw. Coming across, broke, pass broken up. Apke gets in there. I like the throw when he threw it, but Apke's got pretty good closing speed, gets in there, and K-Mac just having nothing going for him right now. Right now, I, I just don't like the body language right now because there's still plenty of time left. There's only, it's only a 10 to nothing game, but right now, internally, it looks like he's a little bit defeated, yeah. a little frustrated. Hey, bad body language, great hair. Absolutely. Great hair. We got two, two guys with great hair right now. This is a battle <laughs> of the lettuce here in the finals. Two guys, great lettuce. We draw. Fournette, oh my goodness. Ooh. Crafty running right there. Move the chains, control the... I just feel like T. Davis is in that zone right now where he, everything's working right for him. He's playing great defense. Uh, when you can run the ball and chew up some of this clock, that poses a big problem for your opponent. Yes, especially it is. The more this thing tightens up here and the less time we get, you go back to playing those two opponents, right? K-Mac already thinks he's fighting the game. Yep. He already thinks he's fighting T. Davis, yep. and then he's going to have to fight the clock. Yep. There's just no way. You know, there's just no way. And now he's also fighting himself because uh, yep. he's, he's clearly frustrated. Right now we got another run play with Leonard Fortinet, churning out some yards, and this can be demoralizing right now. This is, this is a tough, tough spot for him to be in. It, it, K-Mac only blitzes 2%. Two! It's extremely low, where other players are at 50%, 60% more consistently, so he's not a high-pressure defender and then you gotta stop the run pack that box are you gonna have to change your game plan get more guys up in there you see him trying to shift his defense right now he's got seven in the box he thinks he's run heavy to the right right now I would audible to a left run right now if I were uh, T Davis running and he does go to the left the play clock all the way down I love that you're just you're able to see it call it and then you know these guys are having success when you're seeing what's out there and that's that's just that's a testament to to T. Davis just taking what the defense is giving. He's ha he clearly sees the recognition that one side was overloaded. Common sense would tell you that I got to run to the opposite side. He made the change and got the first down. It's working for him here. He's using the full length of the play clock. And K. Max got to find an answer on defense. He's bringing some more defenders over. Right now he's still still safe to run to the right. Right now still safe to run to the right. Goes to the left, free defender, and he, he just overran it. Yeah. He just overran it. T. Davis, if he is able to succeed today, will be the representative for the Cardinals in January. Doesn't play Madden full-time. He's got a pretty busy schedule between work and school. Uh, he says that it's tougher to play some of these younger guys out there who, who are able time. to devote all that time. Um, but I would bet with a $100,000 first place prize and $700,000 total prize pool, that he'll find a way to make some more time. I, I, I think he can find some more time. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. I think he can find some more time. And this, oh, and that's a backbreaker. This is a backbreaker. Leonard right now, Fournette. Right now, right now, Leonard Fournette's closing in on 100 yards rushing in Madden. If you got a back that goes over 100 yards, I'm going to say 10 times out of 10, you got a pretty good chance that you're going to win the ball game. That is going to work for you very consistently in good Good chunks of yardage. Yes. He had a 30 yarder, there's about a 20 there, and just really consistent moving of the chains. But this has been an indicative of how he's been all day, and he's just been in control of what he wants to do, and he's sticking with his game plan, and he's chewing up clock right now. We're, we're approaching the fourth quarter. I think a score right now may put this game out of out of reach just based off of what we've seen the previous three quarters. Yeah, and K Max using those timeouts now. You know, he's not waiting, so he's got one left to go. If you're looking at T. Davis, you're in what playbook is T. Davis running? He's in the West Coast offense. That's where you get this near formation. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple guys in the backfield. It's a little bit old school. Old school, yeah. But, hey, it works. It works. <laughs> if it's not broken, don't fix it. And right now he's in complete control. And one of the things that, you know, I mentioned earlier is I wanted to see how Cape Mack will respond emotionally when things don't go well. And right now you can see the body language is telling you that he's, he's very frustrated right now. Yeah. He doesn't have a lot of answers. Thir you know, if he holds him here, it could be 13 nothing, And then, hey, it's a two-score game in. you got some time. It's fourth quarter. You can, you can play this thing. So this is a huge down here in this game Third for Cape Mack. We're going with the goal line set package right here. you got your big boys in. 
I think it'll be the sneak or the you toss. Go, go left. Go left. Puts Fournette in at fullback, tries to dive it. Go you left. wanted him to run to the green grass. Run to the green grass, the open space. You gotta run to where you have numbers right now. You have three you have two tight ends and a tackle with the lead fullback with two guys over there. But He's going to get points. He's chewed up the timeouts, which are huge. Yep. Um, and we only got the fourth quarter coming up. And those guys that let, and helped him prepare, Ryan Roberts, Strafen, same guy, EMB, uh, Manu, and uh, Cam in lockdown. Those are the guys that help you prepare. You just don't get this good by playing in practice mode. you got to jump online, play with your friends, meet with people. Great community out here. Great uh, folks helping each other out. And they've got T. Davis in big position here at the goal line. He's going to actually go for it on fourth and goal. Fourth and goal. Look, look at what we got right here. Run to those three guys over there to the left. Goes with the, with the dive up the middle and powers it in. I have to say that Kate Mack probably believes that this ball game is over. Yes, that going up to three possessions here was a massive, massive move for T. Davis. Hands it off to Gordon. Goes right up the gut and is able to put himself in a commanding lead as T. Davis. Three <laughs> touchdown, or three score lead. If I'm T. Davis right now, I'm just gonna play cover four. I'll let you take all the underneath stuff that you want to, because you're gonna have to score three times to beat me, and you're gonna have to stop my offense. You showed me that you can't stop the run game right now. I'm playing safe cover four, but you can do whatever you'd like to at this point. Let's see how K-Mac responds on this drive. Hasn't got on the board yet. Uh, played pretty aggressive but just doesn't can't quite get in the positive and his team has not helped him out a in a couple situations as John Ross breaks the tackle and uses some of that speed to get upfield. And it, it's interesting this is a, a redemption game that, that T. Davis mentioned uh, earlier today that he got beat pretty handedly by Kate Mack last time so you got to believe that uh, on the inside he's feeling pretty good right now. Yeah when you're able to at least let's see the seam and no catch Again. there. This has been the M.O. all day. He's had opportunities to make plays, and his guys just have not been able to hold on to the ball. We were able to get, get a good look at an opponent's game plan and, and at least get more comfort against what they're doing and then go in with a strategy. T. Davis said he prepared for K-Mac more than anybody else at the event. Uh, I think there's obviously a level of respect there, and, and sure. uh, he's just not running what everyone else is running. So when you see it for the first time, it could, it could easily throw you off the game. You expect to see uh, that Lions playbook or that Patso, but... You know, he's doing his own thing out there. He's still having a lot of success, but with, with T. Davis able to prepare for it, uh, it's working pretty good for him. Yeah. Fourth and Fourth quarter, four and a half to go. K-Max on offense trying to claw back into this football game. The Drew Brees in shotgun. Looking up his crosser, corner route. It's been the same in all day. It's just running out of real estate. It's just a little bit too late. And right now, if I'm, if I'm T. Davis, I think that he may even look to, to uh, continue this shutout just to send maybe a little bit of a message of what happened last year was maybe a fluke maybe or just a bad game for me, but to let the other gamers know that, hey, I'm coming. Yeah, yeah, they know. They don't want to see T. Davis across uh, from the tournament. I actually, you know, for T. Davis, I, I was playing Madden in Boston and a lot of local tournaments here. Fourth and five threes. A lot of protection. Nobody's coming open. He's throw it to B. Throw it to B. Yo! He was late. He was late. He was open for a long time. That's Rod Woodson. He breaks it down. I would I would go uh, to, to my local tournaments way back then. T. Davis was like probably 14. And his dad would bring him to all the tournaments. His dad's a super nice guy. Uh, and we would lose. Me and uh, my buddy Gibbs who would uh, play. T. Davis would beat us. <laughs> 14 years old? Yeah, I'm like, we need to start. <laughs> like, we were probably like 18 or 20. We were probably in college, probably 20. And we're like, <laughs> we got to find a different GameStop that this kid is not at. And no matter what GameStop we would go to within like a 30-mile radius of Boston, T. Davis would be there with his buddy, and he would beat us. So, and so he won a trip to like, I think he won a trip to... Phoenix and you, and you guys won nothing. We went home. <laughs> we went home. Now we're here. They don't even let us play anymore. And this, like, to see him show up today, uh, you know, as a grown adult, still be really good at Madden is just uh, amazing. And I was asking how his dad was and stuff. He's like, he doesn't come to the tournaments to me anymore. I'm like, come on. So you know, bring him out. So essentially what you're telling me is you were an adult and you were getting beat by a kid. I was not quite an adult at that. You know what I mean? I was like, I was older. You told me you were 18 or 19. That yeah. classifies as The government a, said I was an adult. The government yeah. says you're an adult, yeah. and you got beat by uh, 
a middle to, to to lower high school guy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Middle, he's, yeah. Does that does that bother you any? Losing bothers me a lot. Uh, but to a little kid, it's not great. It's not great for the rep, you know. But I'll say, now you see it, and you're like, all right, this is good. Like the last time I saw him, he had short hair, so I assume he just has grown his hair since the last time. Right. Gone, you know. Uh, but, but yeah. that, when you tell me that, I just imagine a 14-year-old kid still being excited about opening presents, and you, you lost to him multiple times. I still get excited to open presents now, man. He had his, this other guy, Mikey, that would join him. He would beat, he would beat me. T. Davis would beat Gibbs. Cost me, cost me lots of money. Uh, so it's good to see he's still got it going. And then, of course, you know, I had the health scare yeah. Uh, yeah. the last two years with 17 and 18, uh, 16, 17, and 18, like that year. So what's uh, unfortunate for T. Davis is, like, that's when the Madden – uh, championship came back, right? right the series, right. EA uh, fired it back up again. He was really, really good when it wasn't a thing, and then and then it came back, and he just wasn't in a place to compete, sure. right? He had to tr take some time off from school. Sure. Um, but we're really, really happy that he's able to get his health, you know, Absolutely. right, feel better, uh, he's eating better, and uh, he likes to tell that story, you know. He he's, wants to share that, that message Absolutely. Um, of, of what he went through, and you know, try and help others, and, and what that lifestyle can, has done for him. Mm -hmm. um, it's really impressive to see. So you got to tip your cap to uh, the guy like today. Absolutely, and you never know his message. You know, if it touches one and changes, you know, their outlook on something or helps them through something, uh, then it wasn't in vain for him. So it's, it's definitely awesome to see him bounce back and uh, be successful, not only in just the, the game but in life as well. In a kind of a power move by him. I mean, he's literally from Boston, so he could have driven down Route One and gone to, to the Patriots Club event. Yeah. Uh, but there's a little guy that lurks at the Patriots Club event by the name of Skimbo. Okay. Skimbo is the guy when you uh, opened your game last year is in the is in the cover holding up a belt. Oh wow. And okay. a couple hundred thousand dollars to his name. So a strategic move. He wanted to play early in this club championship. Uh, the Cardinals here hosting an amazing event, first event of the year. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of get in get it played and now he's going to have a full season here to look forward to he'll be studying those other 31 events that will be taking place at all you know uh, with all the teams coming up as we move towards january and that one hundred thousand dollar prize pool awesome uh, for the champion 700k total Crazy. Yeah, you definitely have to tip your hat off to the arizona cardinal organization for putting on such a great event here at the uh, state farm stadium uh, class act organization i was fortunate enough to play here for uh, four or five years and uh, the big are uh, excellent people this organization is excellent they continue to uh, help players uh, long after they're, they're done so that speaks volumes to this organization and i have to tip my hat off to them uh, for putting on such a great event yeah i became a, a big fan of the organization uh watching the amazon prime series mm -hmm. uh, last season and just really like what they brought to the table um and then of course now that I've got the gear, right. you know, they hooked us up with some gear. They hooked yep. us up with a nice hat. Yep. You know, we're about to watch a, an amazing game. So thank you so much to the Cardinals for uh, you know, helping us get back to playing here and helping us kick off this club championship in a big-time way. First time ever on a game day. Just sure. never been at a live atmosphere. I mean, the roof is about to get open in here. Uh, the teams are about to uh, get out on the field. And we have ourselves a Madden 19 first club champion. Ladies and gentlemen, Tyler Davis is your Madden 19 Cardinals champion, defeating K-Mac, and he is excited, ready to go. A dominant performance. I uh, was able to hold on to that shutout in yeah. that final. I think that speaks volume. I know for him this was a big redemption game for what happened to him last year and having an opportunity to uh, play, the, play the opponent that did beat him pretty decisively. To shut him out, that has to feel pretty good. Yeah, and if you're K-Mac, you know, you don't go home empty-handed. You're able to uh, take that, take some cash with you, and also, you know, you put yourself back on a big stage for another time. So there's a lot more events here in the championship series. There's four uh, total majors. It's not season's not over for K-Mac, and with a guy running a unique scheme like that, you expect to see him back in a big way. Absolutely, I think he uh, definitely has a bright future still. And I'm, I'm also uh, impressed at what we saw from Little Burke as well, and, and Trey as well. So I look forward to seeing those guys continue on in their careers. Absolutely, we're gonna have tons and tons of action here at the club championship. We're just grabbing uh, T. Davis here. and We'll get him and Heidi ready for a nice little interview. What was your favorite part of today? You know, have you, have you seen a ton of Madden? What did you like? 
kind of just the gameplay portion, the, the competitors, the adjustments? What were you into today? The focus of the players. You know, this is a big deal. Sometimes people look at gaming as just gaming, but the way that these guys put in the time to actually study their opponents, it's very similar to what, what I did as a professional athlete and preparing for my opponents. So to see some of these guys control their emotions, make adjustments throughout the game, it was really impressive. All right, well, we have our champion ready, and we've got Heidi standing by with him. Take it away. I am here with the winner from today, T. Davis. Congratulations. I have to say, aside from you winning today, the little that I've talked to you, you are genuinely a nice person. So couldn't ask for any better <laughs> representation yeah, for yeah, the Cardinals yeah. in the club championship. I'm going to ask you the obvious question. How are you feeling? Oh, it feels great. I mean, I put a lot of work in to prepare for all these opponents, and uh, all good opponents, regardless of what people say. And uh, it feels good to get this win. Awesome. And I know that KMAC had beat you in the yeah. past. What do you think went differently as opposed um, to this? Well, when I played him, I didn't expect anything that he did. And he, he has his defense is legit. As you guys saw, this game was pretty boring to watch. I mean, it wasn't exciting, but you had to do what you had to do. And uh, I played a lot of coverage D because I knew he just wanted to pass. He had breeze. He couldn't scramble. So I played a smart game and uh, ran the ball. And that was my that was the, the way to go to victory. Oh, awesome. Great <laughs> yeah. game. Congratulations again. There's $100,000 up for grabs yeah. here coming up in January, yeah. and you are representing the Cardinals. So good luck. We're yeah. so excited for you. This is your trophy right here. Yeah. Let's see if we can pick this up here. There you go. <laughs> you deserve it. Here we go. Here is our champion for today, T. Davis.